Hi guys, um, I normally don't do this, but uh, I recently just finished watching a movie called War Pigs, and um, well, what can one say about War Pigs? It's an interesting movie. It stars Luke Goss. You may know him as the evil prince elf thingy from um, Hellboy 2. You may know him as the lead villain vampire from Blade Trinity, I believe. Is it Blade 2? The one where they're immune to sunlight and, and, and silver and he has the bone in his heart. Anyway, they want all these split lips and basically more... Uh, 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 very similar to what the vampires look like in, in uh, The Strain. Anyway, um, he plays a army sergeant. It also stars... Um, oh, dear God. Uh, what's his name from Prayer for the Dying? Uh, I'm trying to think of his name. Oh, good Lord. You know it's going to bug me now. He was also in Expendables. So it's got Chuck Liddell, the MMA fighter and a whole bunch of others. Uh, give me a second here, guys. I am just going to look up the IMDB real quick. Now, normally, I'm, you know... predisposed, you know, with uh, everything that needs to be said. Oh, screw IMDB. Here we go. Uh, Mickey Rourke. That's the guy. Mickey Rourke, Dolph Lundgren, Luke Cross, and Chuck Liddell. Um, I'm a huge fan of World War II movies, but this movie literally takes the piss out of a lot of them. Um, the majority of the movie was filmed in England. Um, for some reason, they seem to think that a German forward base would look very similar to Battersea, Battersea Power Station. You could tell it was Battersea Power Station, and I haven't lived in England in almost 15 years, and I can fucking tell you, it was Battersea Power Station, the inside of it. I've been in the inside of Battersea Power Station, and it's fucking Battersea Power Station. Uh, you could clearly tell that the weapons were either airsoft or demilitarized because they Germans were firing MG42s, belt-fed, with no casings being ejected out the side at the beginning of the movie. And you can clearly see that the muzzle flashes were very, very, very poorly CGI'd. Um, uniforms were completely incorrect. Um, at one point, Luke Goss was a member of the 501st, yet his uniform said that he wasn't. Um, historically, uh, most sergeants didn't wear their ranks on their helmets because it was too easy for snipers to pick them off. Um, the fact that a lot of the German uniforms... Uh, were you could tell they were bought very cheaply on eBay from China um, because they were completely either too big or too small for it's like whoever did the costumes didn't get any one sizes until 20 minutes before filming and they rushed off to a fucking costume shop and rented every German World War II uniform um, the fact that they had to cover up the majority of the swastikas, uh, uh, to be politically correct, uh, uh, is horseshit. Um, frankly, Mickey Rourke's acting in this movie is... <sighs> I love Mickey Rourke. I love old school Mickey Rourke. Prayer for the dying Mickey Rourke. Before he got his face looked like it was a mangled hamburger. Um, with all the Botox. Um, but still, Dolph Lundgren, amazing performance. Can't do a French accent to save his fucking life. Uh, can barely do a German accent to save his fucking life. Uh, Luke Goss, he should stick to singing in boy bands. N no offense to Luke. He... Played a, play, he did play a troubled sergeant very convincingly. I've seen a few troubled sergeants firsthand who, who can't deal with the fact of survivor's, survivor's guilt. Um, things like that. Chuck Liddell was only in the movie briefly for like eight minutes and probably got paid way too fucking much 
for the scene he was in. Also, the majority of the weapons that they were using, you could see they were replicas or airsoft because, let's see, at one point, Luke Goss, in one scene, was firing his Thompson machine gun. No recoil. No shell casings, just no smoke, just really poorly done Sony Vegas style muzzle flashes. And you heard click. You heard him click. You heard him run out of ammo, which is why one of his friends got shot. Yet the next scene you see him jumping over some sandbags and gunning down a whole bunch of fucking MG42 come on, uh, 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 gunners without reloading. Um, again... They've tried to make it dark. They've tried to make it gritty. I can understand if the movie was on a very limited budget. Uh, it does look like it had maybe 45, 50 pounds worth of budget. And they literally just sent out an SOS to every fucking uh, American and German World War II reenactor to show up at Battersea Power Station to film this movie. Um, it... it this is the sort of movie that you can actually picture people quoting as real fucking shit. And this is what pisses off a lot of people like me. Okay? No. This is a movie aimed towards Michael Bay wannabe fanboys. Explosion, ooh, explosion, ooh, explosion, ooh. There's probably only three scenes where you actually see a soldier reload a weapon. And even then, it wasn't a reload. They were replacing the barrel in the MG42, which is historically correct. The barrels in the MG42s had to be replaced after maybe two belts of a thousand rounds because it, it wasn't an air... Well, it was an air-cooled barrel. It's just the barrel would tend to warp because of the 1,200-plus rounds per minute. Sound quality for the, 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 the weapons... It looks like they literally went online and just Googled MG42 machine gun sound, MP40 machine gun sound, Stone Gewehr 44 machine sound, M1 Grand sound, 1911 sound, Luger sound. Um, at one point, one of the other actors uh, who's, you know, the, the troublemaker, there's always a troublemaker in every fucking unit, when normally most sergeants or, or, or most uh, captains who come across this person usually get their ass beaten at a fucking dirt. Apparently this guy didn't. So he's running around with four pistols. There is a guy running around with a Browning automatic rifle and you can tell that there was no weight to the weapon because he was just throwing the fucker around like it was made of plastic because it was. It was an airsoft bloody gun. Um... They did use a Panzer III, but unfortunately it was a Panzer III J... Was that a J1? I think it was a J1. And by this tail end of the war, which is after Normandy D-Day, uh, most Panzer III's, uh, uh, especially J1's, weren't around in the area of France that they were at. And if they were, they were upgraded to Panzer IVs, Panzer IV M's, or Panzer III M's, with Schultzum and there was no Schultzum. There was no Schutzum and there was no Zimmer on the tanks. So you can clearly see they literally went to the Imperial War Museum in London and said, look, here's 300 pounds. We want to rent this tank for 15 minutes and shoot a model. And, and I was really hoping for more about this movie. And it is just a monumental letdown. This is the sort of movie you, you want to show your friends who want to make movies and tell them, see everything in this movie, do the complete fucking opposite. Sorry, I hate to be harsh, but there are much better war movies out there. Um, not just limited to World War II, I'm talking about Vietnam, I'm talking about other wars. Uh, um, Platoon comes to mind. Classic uh, 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 movie, uh, Full Metal Jacket, classic movie. Ironically, Full Metal Jacket filmed in England. Most people go, no, well, yeah, it was. Do yourself a little bit of, do a little bit of Googling, you'll find out the Full Metal Jacket was actually filmed, the scene where they're apparently attacking Saigon, and you see the patent tanks shooting into Saigon, and you see all these GIs hiding behind a wall, filmed in London. 
and you could clearly see that the majority of the movie was either filmed in London or in England. You know, like the England countryside, stuff like that, trying to make it look like the French countryside. Um, also, in certain points, parts of the movie, if you actually pay attention, you can actually see a 747 flying overhead. I don't remember a 747 being in World War II. Exactly. Um, the bullet holes were CGI. The, the, the blood uh, 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 looks like strawberry jam. You know, you can clearly see that they reused actors in many different scenes. So they probably only had a limited amount of extras, which is why you don't see any great big battles between, you know, American GI units and, and German units or anything like that. You, you, at one point they reused one of the sub characters actors in another scene just with blood on his face and in hopes you're not going to notice. Um, so yeah, and plus the fact that Luke Goss, who is British, who has an incredibly strong British accent, is playing an American captain. What? Uh, again, you would have thought it would, you know, again, with Mickey Rourke signing on to be in this movie, who, by the way, is only in maybe like three scenes, and he's always sitting on his ass. What is with that lately? Dolph Lundgren actually did do play a very convincing French legionnaire. The knife fighting scenes looked like they were somewhat rehearsed, slash, slash somewhat researched, but the majority of it was gone completely fucking wrong, especially for World War II. Um, gee, just dear God. Um, right now, I believe War Pigs is available on, in, in Redbox and a few others uh, you can get it on video on demand things like that a friend of mine uh, uh, um, showed me the movie we were at his place and, and whatnot and dear god just just I, 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 I had to leave I had to get up and walk out of his living room for like 10 minutes because the, just just dear god no fuck God, no, no, poor God, no, just no, no, no. I am not a film critic, I am a game critic. If this came out as a game, which I'm probably surprised it's not come out as an Android iOS game or or, or a clickbaity game on Facebook or some shit like that, I'm surprised it's, it, 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 it's, it's probably in the works, okay? It, it, it's probably in the works, it's probably going to be done by LJN or Jack Pacific or some other poor fucking shuffleware game developer. I'm so glad LJN isn't around anymore. Um, trust me, the angry video game nerd knows what I'm talking about. And so, at the end of the day, guys, is it a hit or is it a miss? It is a fucking miss by a goddamn long shot. Will I watch it? God, no. I watched it so you don't have to. And that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. So until then, take care. And dear God, don't watch this fucking movie. Save yourself. Dolph Lundgren, don't even put it on your resume. Bye, guys.